door salesman? We don't got anything, man. Damn over it. We're green already. We look like a giant booger. Better <laughs> 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 melon. Pause. Right now, melon heads. Go to the bathroom and wash your hands. I know what you guys did. You can't keep your secrets from me. Wash them paws. And you know what? Before you wash your hands, make sure you also clean your belly buttons. Because today, we're going to be playing 60 Seconds. Do you know what this game is about? You're a daddy -o, and in 60... That's a piece of pizza. In 60 seconds, the common cold will come without a UFO and nobody outside wash their hands. To avoid catching a cold, you have to store food, water, and your family in a bunker below and try not to catch a cold from the outside world. At least, that's what I think it's about. I don't know. I'm pretty sure I'm right. I heard it's really hard, but I am a hand-washing expert. I'm not catching no stinking cold. Look at those guys in that blimp there. They didn't wash any of their hands. I know it. Let's do this. So here we are, we're looking around. No, we have to wait till 60 seconds, so let's uh, get our bearings. Here we are with daddy -o. Look at this nice... How's here? Wow, okay. Common- Oh no! The common cold is here! Grab everything! Grab the soup! Soup is important for the common cold. Throw it in there. Okay? Okay? Now, what else do we need? Is that spaghetti? Get that spaghetti. Get the axe? Right there. Get that. What's this? Wait, we need the guitar. Guitar heroes are good. No? No? Okay. Wait, we need our family. Mom! Ro Roger! Give me the- Roger! Oh no. Okay, you see the bottom? That's how many things we can hold in our hand. Throw it over there. Okay, we need mommy. Mom! Uh, I don't mean to slap you. Tuba lady. Okay, no. Daughter, no. Okay, put put the put put put, put it put it here. Oh, I'm gonna throw my wife. That's not good. Okay, uh, tuba lady. Uh, you. Why can't you guys run for yourself? We need soup. We need soup. We need soup. We need spaghetti. Tomatoes are bad. Okay, wait. What's in here? Is this my room? We need the car. Why can't we bring the car? Wait. We need this photo of of our grandson. He looks beautiful. He looks like Ray William Johnson. Wait, wait, wait. We need the soup. Throw the soup in here. <laughs> okay. Can we push this lamp? Push the lamp here. No, okay, no. Wait, we need a daughter! Tuba lady! No! Ah. Uh. <laughs> you perished. Now we all got the common cold. Look what the common cold did. This is what happens when you fellas don't wash your paws. So we're starting this over again. Where's our bunker? Okay, our bunker's right here. This is good. Okay, so. Uh, grab our daughter, put her in here. Okay, okay, now, now, uh oh, what's this? L luggage? No, put that there. Uh, put it there. <laughs> I'm freaking out. Okay, so in this situation, honestly, water was more important than than, 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 than soup. Okay, so let me just grab a couple of soups here. Grab that, grab that. Okay, to the shelter. Yes, we know, we know. Where is, why isn't my family doing all the work? Where's mom? Where's mom? Okay, okay, okay. Honey, honey, honey. This is no time. Okay, uh, I'll catch you in a second, honey. Here, grab our son. You're, you're too young to go through the common cold. Okay, okay, now we need water. Oh, goodness. I'm freaking out. Uh, 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 wait, a gas mask. We need that. It's important. Okay, I'll grab my wife in a second. Throw it here. What's this? Uh, put that there, too. I don't know. Okay, okay. Gra grab, a grab my wife. My wife, my wife, my wife. Move! Move! Hurry up! Can I grab a soup along the way? I mean, can we get that axe? Uh, okay, we don't have no time. Uh, uh, I got, I got, I got chest. Chest is good. Okay, common cold is good. Go in there. Okay, uh, uh, uh. Wait, we're done! Ah! Yeah! Let's go! <laughs> Alright, so, um, I don't think I got a lot of food. I think I only got, like, three cans. Did I even get any water? Water is most important. I want you all you melon heads to know. Because flushing out your system when you have the common cold is important. But we have chest. Uh, I mean, checkers. We have checkers. We have a gas mask. Okay, so here's my family right here. My do I got my daughter, the tuba, tuba daughter. We got, uh, 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 I don't know, our son. We got Roger, the, our wife, and us. Oh, okay, okay, okay. So, we have our thing here. Day one. <clears throat> all of us made it into the shelter just a second before the blast. That was a close one. As long as we're all together, we can make work down here. We remember hearing canned soup is healthy for you. We can't remember bringing those supplies down- Oh, <laughs> oops. But we're not complaining. We probably should have stocked it better anyway. Well, we kind of oopsie doopsie here. Well, looky here! One of us must have hid this inside the suitcase a while ago. Yeah, that suitcase was good. It was lucky we took that suitcase, yeah. What is that? Is that mustard? Mustard can't help us in the common cold. What's that gonna do? Okay, our shelves are full of cans. We'll eat from cans. We'll sleep on cans. We'll even talk to cans. Some of us already do. Wow, it's already been day one. We're already talking to cans. Plenty of water means we don't have to worry about that for some time. Yeah, uh, melon hands, water is important. Okay, time to ration supplies. So here's our here's our soup and here's our water. I wish I got more water, but you know what? We're 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 gonna we're gonna we're gonna hold off for now. 
Uh, all that work? We're, we're tired. We, we, we want to sleep, you know? Okay, it's not easy to be calm in these circumstances. Hopefully we will keep our peace, or else we might need to act like wolves. Survival or, or the fit, if it is at all. Who drew these? They're great. Alright, day two has passed. We didn't get any food. We have to- we have to survive! The common cold is out there! It's- okay, day two. It's easy to feel a bit down when living on the ground like this. No sunshine, no sky! We need to get rid of that pessimism and try to bring some cheerfulness into our lives. Mary Jane is feeling safe. Who's Mary Jane? My wife? Who wouldn't in this coffin-sized shelter? No news is good news. There's nothing new going on with Timmy. I mean, Timmy is just, you know, he's just looking up in the sky, thinking about how he washed his hands perfectly well. Today was relatively calm for Dolores. Who's Dolores? I think that might be the daughter. Okay, this morning has been calm enough for Ted, and he's doing well. Can they tell? They don't have a name tag. All right. So, uh, we're gonna get hungry. No water! No water! We're surviving with the water! We, we have plenty of soup! It looks like the area is still having the common cold. Going to the wasteland right now is unsafe, unless you don't mind getting sick. No! We are not here for that. Ted is happy to risk his life in the waste. Okay, here's the names here. So, uh, we, we can have times where the family can go out and look for supplies. But we're always risking. We don't know what will happen. Dolores is in pretty good shape. Mary Jane will, is more than ready to go out and scavenge. No, she has bangs in her eyes. I, I think that might that might ruin her, her, her eyesight. Timmy can do it. Timmy can go to the wasteland. Oh. We're getting Harry. Harry isn't good. Harry is not healthy. No offense to all the Harrys out there. Day three. Bravely ignoring our symptoms. Symptoms? We tried to get at least an hour or two of sleep. No luck. We're even more tired than we were, and there are other problems we will need to face soon. Let's just hope our yawning will be, will be enough to scare raiders away or save us from the common cold. So water for Timmy will be nice. Okay, I get it. Everyone else is really tired. Okay. Ted is really calm. You're thirsty booties. Okay, we got some water. Okay, we'll drink some water. Okay, it's about time we choose someone to scavenge the remains of our town to search of supplies. Who will it be? The, the wasteland awaits. So we're gonna set out Poppy to go out. That's us, technically. And he's gonna have a gas mask to make sure that none of those boogers go in his nose. We don't, we don't want any of that. And we don't know if Papa washes his hands. Look at those bare paws. There's a lot to miss. You gotta make sure you really scrub them fingers. All right. Well, day four, okay. The hairiness is gone. I'm sure Mommy didn't shave her legs. Mary Jane didn't, be, didn't cause any trouble today and no trouble dared to cross her path. Okay, wow. Timmy has rested. Good job, Timmy. Good, good boy. Today was relatively calm for Dolores. Ted left for the surface. We hope he'll be back soon. Okay, that's good. Go, Poppy, go! Can't, the trash can of ours is getting disgusting. The good news is, we don't have much of an appetite when we see it. So we're saving some food. Yet for some reason, we would like to tidy this mess up. Those giant green cockroaches are a pretty good mo motivator. What? The, the game is telling me that we should have got some supplies. Some Boy Scout book and bug... Stuff. Okay, but it's okay. The cockroaches can be there for our friends. You know? Do you hear that? Oh, look at the green. Oh no, this looks radiated. This looks radiation. Radiated. Day six. Oh my, that thing is huge. And there goes another one. Roaches everywhere. We're doomed. We already feel all dirty. Oh no. Everyone has to drink sometimes, including Mary Jane. Is there any water left? We can't leave Timmy without water for too long. All right, everyone's thirsty. Okay, okay, everyone's thirsty. All right, all right. Uh. Uh, I don't want to do it. You know what? Soup is good for your, your soup. What? What is this? What? What does this mean? What does this mean? What? 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 <gasps> Did Papa! 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 Are you okay? You didn't get a razor when you were up there. Wash your hands. Day nine. Ted has safely returned from his vo voyage to the surface. Before leaving our neighborhood, our expedition noticed a group of scavengers. We don't know when. We don't know them. Yet they didn't have any reserva reservations about scavenging the area clear. We decided to steal one of the numerous backpacks they had while they weren't looking. Uh-oh. Lucky fine. Those were, there was some cans inside. Oh, it's soup. Only one soup? Papa, you went up there for five days to grab one can of soup? Ring, ring. There we were, thinking we would never hear a telephone, telephone signal again. When suddenly a phone starts ringing from somewhere outside, we figured it's the phone across the street. Should someone go answer it? So I think we might be delusional. Or maybe it's the health guys. Maybe, maybe they're here to tell us the common cold I I is gone. Maybe they're gonna give us a pack of hand sanitizers. Okay, who should go? Maybe looking up to the left symbolizes that he has an idea. And that idea should be him going out! I got an achievement. I will survive. He's here, so he's alive. Okay, day 10. We're doing good. Kukurachas and all. Day 10. When we answered the phone, we could clearly hear a gasp of relief with the caller. They introduced themselves as survivors from a nearby town of Hill Valley. <gasps> we have started exchanging information when the call was cut short. 
Something must have gone wrong on their side. We hope they will get back to us. Okay, Timmy survived. Good job. We were so afraid for Timmy, but he came back from the wasteland and is safe with us now. Okay, did he wash his hands? Let me see your hands, Timmy! Okay, our neighborhood is still highly sick with the common cold. Trips to the surface are a big risk for our health right now. We, we have this. We have a health pack. And Timmy could do it. Timmy's looking to the sky! To the heavens! Timmy's our man. We're going. We're going. We're going. A few minutes later. We opened the bunker down this morning to let in some fresh radioactive air filled with poppy boogers. We discovered a small suitcase on our doorstep. Should we take a look inside? You know what? We're running out of food. We don't have any radio. At this point, what do we got to lose besides Timmy's spirit? Why are we covered in boo-boos? The gift was booby trapped! No! Not the boobies! There was nothing inside besides some junk and then as soon as we opened the suitcase, it exploded. What? Now we really need to get some food. If Timmy comes back with more food, we'll do all the celebrations we want. But right now, here, we'll, 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 we'll wait. A few minutes later. <gasps> Why is there a cat? But, uh, but Tim, Timmy, Timmy, Jimmy, it's power hour. You're here. You got us cards? As soon as the door closed behind the trader, the bag started to violently shake. Emitting screeching, no sounds. Terrified, we backed up against the walls. When the beast finally escaped, it turned out to be just an angry house cat. The feline gave us a menacing look and promptly sat down in the corner to clean itself. Is that its name? I'm gonna call him Cher, I don't care. We were so afraid for Timmy, but he came back from the wasteland. It's safe with us. Okay, what did he get us? We tried to look at a nearby bar. Fitting called the World's End. Usually, such a respectful family like our own would never go there. But this time, we gave it a shot, hoping to find some unclaimed goods. Okay, we got a can, and we got two water! Okay, we would have known that tomato soup used to be such a powerful, sna popular snack in a bar. We had a few cans of it. A few cans? That's literally just one. Timmy didn't do us anything either. Just gave us one can, two waters, and cards. And the, the guy gave us a cat to worry about. Like we care. No offense to the cat. Timmy, go out because he got hurt. Okay, well, that's all we're doing. What? When emptying our bu a bucket in front of the shelter, we discovered a nicely drawn map on one of the ruined walls. Someone drew out a route and marked a spot at the end of it. <sighs> Every time we went out to go look for some common cold medicine, nothing going our way. We got a cat. Can we send the cat outside? You know what, Ted, big fella, you're going. Your big bear paws. We don't need to see that scruffiness anymore. What was that? What's the cat doing? Garfield? Cher? What's that? What's happening? <gasps> We're lucky to have spotted the map. <gasps> we got... Medicine or something. B bug spray. Okay, okay. Mary Jane keeps fading. Okay, Mary Jane needs to... Okay, Mary Jane... Everyone's hungry? Everyone's staying? Ted is fine. Okay, Ted. We're glad you're doing fine. You know what? Everyone just drink water. And, and have some soup. But except you, Ted. You, you're just gonna sit there with your big nose. A young man paid us a visit today. He told us a story of his brave twin sister who went missing while spying at a nearby bandit camp. He said that while those these circumstances are far from perfect, they are in fact meaning to contact us eventually and meet us. Huh, what? He believes his sister was discovered and is currently held captive in that camp. He has a few men. Go! Ted, you're doing fine? You're gonna go. Get use those bare paws for a reason. Find a razor while you're at it. Can't get out of the checkers! Don't poop there! The young man was assisted by a group of the other survivors. All armed but really friendly, we found the girl, threw her a weapon, and fought us the, off the bandits guarding the exit. Siblings were happy to be reunited, but also were confused. Turns out the bandit leader is actually their father! <gasps> a tarot novella. It's a crazy small world we live in. Anyway, they were really thankful and promised to contact us again soon. <gasps> okay, good. We're good, we're good, we're good, good, good. Good job, Ted. I hate you, but good job. How come Ted is the only one hearing? Like, why isn't Mom getting some bare patches on her legs? Oh no! He's not looking to the heavens, he's looking below! No news are troubling. Ted, this fine morning. Ted, you stink. This is why you're going out there. Oh no. I feel like if I don't give him anything, he's gonna die. I don't have any of this. You know what? We're gonna give Timmy some soup. Soup has lots of vitamins. We'll find something. Maybe the mom can use her apron to wipe out those boogers. Alright, get out of here. Alright, day 23. Okay, okay. Oh no, he looks so rough right now. He looks like me if I didn't play Animal Crossing New Horizons for the Nintendo Switch. Everyone drink water. We can hold off on the soup. Water is important. We can survive on a couple of days without water. It's hard being down here, living here. We need to make the best of it or else we might find ourselves in even more trouble. We're gonna do fine. We're gonna do fine. Come on, Poppy. Come on, Ted. Get us something. What? Oh no, she looks so dang rough. 
Why is mom sitting in perfect pristine? She's got a secret bath soap under that. It's easy to feel a bit down when living on the ground like this. No sunshine, no sky. We need to get rid of that pessimism and try to bring more cheerful to our lives. We don't have anything to treat Timmy. Someone paid us a visit today. It was an overly cheerful, red-haired woman, accompanied by a grumpy-looking mercenary type, who was probably her guard. She told us she was a traitor and eagerly showed us items she brought along. No, I'm sorry, ma'am, and grumpy-looking... mercenary type. We can't do any of that. Look at our son! Look at our boy! He's looking so rough. Okay, everyone's alive? Everyone's good. Where is Poppy? I swear, if he's down the, at the bar... Timmy, look at that picture right there. You see this book right here? You see you're looking at the heavens? Remember that determination you had? With that butt-looking haircut? No fade at all? You can do that. Just, just keep looking to the heavens. Day 27. No! No! He will be back when he becomes the warlord of the wasteland. I'm sorry, Timmy. You know what? I respect Timmy's decision. He didn't die. Oh, he's probably gonna get hurt out there. He doesn't have any mokuls. I mean, the holes in our bunker walls aren't just big enough for rats. They can easily fit a cat. We noticed that Cher has been sneaking outside every other night and coming back in the morning. Maybe he found something edible nearby. Should we follow it next time it goes outside? You know what? Mary Jane, you can do it. Just move your bangs. Okay, okay. <gasps> oh, what in the world happened to you? You look like Oompa Loompa. <laughs> Oh, we got two water! Our, our local athletes team were preparing to depart for a championship taking place somewhere in the boondocks. Their bus was full of refreshing water. Okay, go with that. We found a radio! <gasps> Get the cucarachas out. Get them out. We, we don't need them. Oh, she is looking so dang rough. What was that? Why is they knocking? Oh... <gasps> Why is she turning to Murdoch Nichols? Twin siblings contacted us again. Today, they're visiting our humble shelter, saying that they're looking for a map of the nearby area. Their plan is to find a rel relatively safe place. Okay. The twins will help us. Give them the map. Good, good, good. Just hang on a couple more, family. We're gonna look a little bit more like Murdoch Nichols every day, but we're gonna be fine. We're gonna be fine. The common cold. What are you doing here, kitty cat? They didn't have to ask twice. They were in day 30, guys. These people are very friendly, and the way they take care of the others, others is impressive. Okay, good. We showed them the map and pointed out a few bandit cameras that they could avoid. Okay, they were grateful and saved for a little chat. Okay. When we woke up today, we discovered that Cher somehow found its way back to our shelter. <gasps> Does that mean it's still safe for good? What do you mean? It's been here for like 10 days. A few minutes later. We made it! <gasps> the military came! Oh! They're gonna help us give us some nice hand sanitizers! All we gotta do is wait patiently. Oh no. We're gonna save. We're gonna hold off. We're gonna hold off. We can do it. We can do it. No, we're gonna stay. We're staying here. The most curious visitor today. One of them was making the sound of galloping horse me using a pair of rocks and hitting them against each other. While his companion was pretending to ride said horse. They claim to be on a very important quest to seek some magical... Oh. I don't think we should. I feel like the map is gonna be important. Come on, family. You could do this. Color skin is beautiful nowadays, you know? It could be the new... the new phase. Yeah. Wait, what? What? Sister? Sissy? Mary Jane left for Canada. Because it had a better public health care system. What? Using a high-tech setup, including paper cup involving paper cups and yarn of string, the agents rang in with our next top secret. You know what? Mommy, go on ahead. Give him a haircut. Tell him their secret how you managed to not gain any hair on your legs. Now we're just stuck with this guy. We gracefully agreed to fulfill their request. They thanked us for doing our specific duty and promised that they would be back with more information soon. Dolores is on her way to the surface. Let's hope she makes it safe and sound. You know, maybe we should have brought the dad out there. The siblings visit us. Oh, 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 the, the twins. People are starting to move in among their, them quite a lot of kids. The group strongly believes that these children need to be get educated. Um... So, because we don't have this book, are we, are we done for? Door-to-door -door salesman? We don't got anything, man. Damn over it! We're green already, we look like a giant booger. <laughs> Party City and left this prop of mommy on our doorstep. Why is she cosplaying as someone from Coco? I don't even know anymore. Just eat your food, man. I don't even know. Yeah, listen to the radio. Okay, go ahead. Mama emailed the cosplay looking sharp. Murdoch Nichols cosplay looking sharp. What? Uh oh. Ted has gone crazy. Same, dude. Same. You know what, Ted? Just have some water and have some food. You know what? No food for you. We just lost a padlock, guys. So now, anybody can get us. The bacteria cannot only get us. People fill with bacteria. None of this matters! None of this matters anymore. You know what I'm wondering? How do we have enough paper? To really... 
think the, look, the cat's handling up quite well. Cher, are you doing okay? Okay, Melonheads. We went up to day 57. Timmy went all off to become the god of the new world and get a good haircut in the barber shop next door. Dolores, I don't even know her name. Mary Jane? Mary Jane went to go to Canada because apparently they have good clippers there to cut those bangs. And mommy's still stuck here dressed up like Coco. So now we have a neighbor, Ned. Gotta open the door. Padlock is gone. Where food is running out. And Papa is... Just open the door. It doesn't matter. We went up to day 57, Melonheads. We survived for 58 days. Oh, we're alive. What? Maybe they are playing puppets too. <gasps> we got two water. A group of travelers wearing gas masks and carrying some serious looking equipment gave us purified water. <gasps> we turned away and left. Okay, bandits are at the door. Uh, you know what? Kumbaya, my boy. Kumbaya. Kumbaya. We got. Coco 2 is looking really good. Well, Melonheads, um, that was 60, 60 seconds. That was how we survived the common cold. Make sure you guys all wash your paws. Clip those, those nose hairs, because you never know what's up there. Clean that belly button. We survived quite a long time. 59 days, that's not so bad for my first time playing. Let me know what you guys think. Comment below your thoughts. I'm never playing this again. Make sure you watch Coco if you have Disney+. Plus. <laughs> and wash your hands before you comment below your thoughts. And yay, thank you all so much. Wash your hands. You. So, you know what? You know, what what you are you doing? Just give me. Just give me. What? What are you doing? I'm shuffling the cards, Lemon. Shuffling the cards. Shuffling. You know what? You know what shuffling means? Yes, of course I know what shuffling means. Yeah, I'm not I'm stupid. shuffling the cards.